morning. Today we are going to learn about the mood. So mood already are studied. Before that, we have to just think about the tranquility thing. What all things you have studied earlier that you have to remember. Always remember the pronouns. So first we should be study first one direct method. Direct method we are using when FI's values and XI's values are small. So we will use that formula. What is the formula for that? Do you remember? Sigma FI XI divided by Sigma FI. X bar equals sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. Next method was assumed mean method. For the assumed mean method, here you see on assumed mean there. That is a. So assumed value is a. And it is we are taking from xi middle of xi. So xi also you have to find out how will you find out xi? Upper limit plus lower limit, the whole divided by 2. So Assumed mean method we are using x bar equals arithmetic mean equals a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi. The sigma fi is only for sigma fi di division only for sigma fi di divided by sigma fi. So assumed for the assumed mean method x bar equals a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi. Next method is step deviation method. For the step deviation method, we are again using one letter H. H is class width, class size. So both things are same. Class width or class size is the difference between upper limit minus lower limit. For the step deviation method, we have to find out the mean by x bar equals a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into H. This H will be multiplied with sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi only. And that's one family. A is another family. So you should not cancel with A and the H and all. When there is multiplication, you can cancel. So the family is only. Then next thing is, what is ui? ui, how will you find out? ui is di by H. What is di? Di is xi minus a. So these are all the things you have to learn properly. Then only you can do this method. Whenever they ask, the board will ask you in the question paper, which method they will specifically say. That method you have to use. Otherwise you won't get any mark. And if they are, suppose they are not telling any method's name, you can use which method you prefer. You have confidence. That method you can use. And when you are doing, please make the calculations correctly. Otherwise, no use of studying all these things. So many times if you learn to do the calculation work, then you will be faster, you will do the calculation. So it will be better for you. So today, we are going to start the next one, mode. Mode is... Mode of ungrouped data. This one already I studied in 7th and 9th codes. So ungrouped data means suppose here it is 3, 5, 7, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, from these numbers, how will you find out how we have already studied the most repeated number? We are not thinking about how many times it is repeated that we are not considering. The most repeated number, which is the most repeated number? 7 is there, here 7 is there, here 7 is Three times it is repeated. No need to worry about how many three times are not. Which number we are repeating? That is smooth. So, mode is equal to 7 is the answer. Uh, three repeated only two times and uh, nothing else. But the other all the numbers are they must be repeated. Suppose uh, names. Now look, suppose the names like this. Raju, Ramu, D, Ramu. 
Mithun is repeating, here Ramu is repeating, so mood is Ramu. Most of the time. The next one, if it is, uh, if you are taking some diseases, Zika box, malaria, fever, COVID-19, Zika box, COVID-19, cough, COVID-19. Which is more here? More is COVID-19. So the thing is that for the mode, the most repeated number or most whatever it is repeated, that is the answer for mode. So here this number is given, here the name is given, here the diseases it is given. And number of times they did not ask you. They ask which one is known. So not the number of times said, just check with the number of times in your mind. And the answer is mode of the disease is COVID-19. Mode Rahu is the mode of the names between the names. And here number will be mode is most of the will be seven. So this is the way for the mode of unknown data. It should be written in your notebook. So now we are going to do the mode. Mode with the grouped frequency distribution. For the mode, we have to find out some formula. Is there. We have to learn that and then you can. So the formula is like this. Mode for the ungrouped data. Not ungrouped, just grouped data. Mode equals L plus alpha minus This full is a handy and this another handy. So here it is full calculation done means so here in which you can do. And all the things you have to find out now. Before this finding out, you have to find out what is F, what is F1, what is F0, F2, etc. H already you know, class width or class size. So L is the lower limit of the modal class. So main thing is the modal class. So, modal class means, modal class is the class which have highest frequency, highest frequency. The main thing I have to remember, modal class is the class which has highest frequency. The next one, L. L means it is the lower limit of the modal class. Now you have to think about F1, F0, F2. So it is F1 is the frequency of the modal class. F0. F0 is the frequency of the class frequency of the class preceding 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 the modal class. The next one, F2. F2 is the frequency of, of the, the class succeeding the modal class. Then H is 
size of the class. Means upper limit minus. So these are the main key answers. If you want to apply also one of the letters that specify that you are going to do. So today we are going to do one problem from you. So from the textbook itself we will do the first one. From the first one, second one we will do. Second is it. Space number should be equal. Question you have to write it from the textbook. I just read it now. The following data gives the information on the observed lifetimes in hours of 225 electrical components. And uh, the assembly is given, frequency was given. Determine the modal lifetimes of the components. This is the question. Second question. So I just Okay, you have to complete the questions. Lifetimes. And the frequencies are 10, 35, 52, 61, 38, and 29. Now from here you have to find out first thing, modal class. Modal class you have to find out. Modal class means the maximum frequency, means highest frequency. The highest frequency here is 10 is uh, 25 to 61. So 61 is the highest frequency. Right. So the modal class is 60 to 80. Modal class equals 60 to 80. The class which has highest frequency. So 280 is the model class because the highest frequency is 61. The next one, L is the lower limit of the model class. So model class, upper limit and lower limit is uh, lower limit means lower number, you have to remember. So lower limit L is equal to 60. F1, frequency of the model class. Frequency, frequency of the model class. So F1 equals 61. Next one, F0. Frequency of the class preceding the model class. Preceding means different now. Means it is preceding, it is 52. So F0 equals 52. Okay, the next one, F2. F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class. Succeeding. After. So it is F2 equals 38. H. H is the class size. Means the upper limit minus lower limit. 20 minus 0, 20. 40 minus 20, 20. 60 minus 40, 20. So everything is 20. So H is equal to 20. Now you have to apply it for always by the formulas. Then you will get half mark for that. So more equals L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Now look, say if the F1 minus F0, here only 2 is the 2 F1 minus, this 2 is only equal to F1. Okay, 
Okay. Now, now we will substitute the numbers. So L is equal to 60 plus that F1 minus F0. F1 is 61 minus 52. The whole divided by 2F1. 2 into F1 is 61 minus F0 is 52. F2 is 38 into H. H is equal to 0. This bracket means it is in do. So first we complete inside the bracket first. Always do that first. So it's equal to 60 plus 61 minus 52. Minus 52. This is my 9 divided by 2 into 61. That is 1 into minus 52 minus Now complete this one now. Z equal to 60 plus. How many you do this one? Two methods are there. Either you can just subtract from this and you'll get the answer. Subtract minus 38 or same with this. Otherwise, take this two together with same sign. So you can add. So it is 100 equal to minus 52 38. Same sign means add up to the same sign. So it is. 1 carry over, 1 is minus. Otherwise, what you can do is here, if you want, means you can do like this also. Only one method is enough. So, 60 plus 9 divided by 122 minus 52, 122 minus 52, you will get a 0. 7, 70 you get. So, 100 minus 52 is 70 minus 38. So, you know this one, which you will get to look for problem is that you can do firstly that you have to. Now, here it will be, you will come to this one. 60 plus 9 divided by 70 minus 38. 32 you get. Now look, now bracket I remove because only one term is there. So just cancel it, you'll get the answer. Here it will be uh, 2 from 6, 8, 4, 5, 4, 7, 8, 4, 7, 32. Now you'll get 60 plus 9 into 5. It is 25 divided by 8. So it is 45 by 8, you will get the answer as 60 plus 45 divided by 8. 8 fives are 30, 35, 5, 50, 6 eights are 48, 2, 20, 2, 60, 4, 5.625 you will get. So 40 plus 5.625. So when you add 60 plus 5, 65.63 approximation. 5 here comes in, add plus 1 to the previous digit, you will get the answer. Here, if you put 4, it is anybody you can do any one calculation. So here it is 60 plus 9 divided by 122 minus 90. 2, 32. 32. So here also same thing. You got the answer. So here it will be 5 fours are 48. 5 fours are 20. 8 fours are 32. Here also 60 plus 9 by 9 into 5. 45 divided by 8, you get the answer 16 plus 5.625 equals 65.625, that is 65.63 is the answer. So, once again, I'll tell you 
more weeks which one repeated what that is actually in ungrouped data for the grouped data we have to find out one formula is there you have to learn it correctly find out what are letters are there what are this is given they will be your friend first thing what is you can do l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h and uh, for first thing you have to find out modal class modal class means the highest frequency which class got the highest frequency that will be the modal class the next one l is the lower limit of the modal class and f1 is the frequency of the modal class f0 is the frequency of the preceding the modal class and then f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding after the modal class and h is equal to the size of the class size of the class in the means upper limit minus lower limit so this is the question in the textbook exercise number 14.2 second question so here it is lifetime is given and frequency is given so here it is modal class is which got the highest frequency 60 to 80 got the highest frequency and 61 is the highest frequency so 60 to 80 is the class so f1 it will be 61 frequency of the modal class and then previous class frequency into that will be f0 not to remember that before one there is zero right when you count also zero one two like that it becomes so f0 and f1 don't be not uh, don't be confused f1 is the correct one for that it will be f0 so f0 means it is a before f1 then f2 after one it is two succeeding means after f1 it is the field with the succeeding f2 h is the class interval will be to 40 but that is the limit to it between the so it is going to be so it is a good one now just apply the formula l is equal to 60 f1 minus f0 f1 is 61 f0 is So apply it, you will get it. You will find it also. I told you this is plus comes plus or minus comes means just separation is there. Okay, uh, multiplication comes means no people there separation. Just a bracket means multiplication. So here sixty plus. Then apply all these things and then into twenty is the bracket means into sixty plus nine by. Hundred twenty. Now two ways you can do from after this, either this way, either this way or this way. How to do? If you find out this one is more easier, means okay, no problem. Because here comes the confusion. How will you solve? So don't be tense. It's very simple only. Okay? So first thing, one twenty two is positive. So one twenty two minus fifty two equal to you ten. No, so no problem. Here it is. We are just time now. Look, sixty plus hundred nine by nine by so sixty plus nine by hundred twenty two minus fifty two minus thirty. Now this one we write we take it first this one hundred and twenty two minus fifty two we take hundred and twenty two minus fifty two it is seventy and then minus thirty eight so that minus thirty eight we get here the other opposite we did here same sign is the same sign is there means add and put the same sign so add fifty two plus thirty eight. You have this ninety, you got sine is negative. So here hundred and twenty-two already positive. So subtract here, you get thirty-two. You will get, and here also thirty-two. You get, so you get the answer. Cancel it, you get the answer. Here I am writing proper the other side. Here it is. Here it is. So more equals. Sixty plus so 
the mod e plus 60 plus 9 by 122 minus 90 will get 32 into 10. The near base by fours are near each. So this mod e plus 60 plus 45 divided by each. Then Plus 60 plus 45 by 8 is 5.625. So the answer is 65.625. Equals mod equals approximation. You have to write. So it is 65. But after the approximation, we need to do approximation. After the 7.2 digits, we have to take. So think about the third digit. Whether the third digit is 5 or more than 5 means add 4 plus 1 to the previous digit. So 2 comes here. So it is 6. That is ours. So the answer is 65.63 hours it is the model like time. So this is the question we have. Okay. So we will do one more problem also. From 14.2, the question number is 5. The given distribution shows the number of runs scored by some top batsmen of the world in one day international cricket matches. Table is given. Find the mode of the data. That is the question. So, you will write the question now. You have to write the question from the text to and for the bottom. So number five. Thanks for And then the agencies are four H and the agency B nine seven six three one one. So this is the table. From here we have to find out the mode. So write the formula first. Mode equals N plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F4 into H. Now substitute the values. First we have to find out modal class. So modal class equals. How will you find out the modal class? Which has the highest frequency. Here look highest frequency. Here this 18 is there. That is the unit number. Rather all the pins are in one digit. So 18 is the highest frequency. And then this is the class interval. Model class. So model class is 4000 to 5000. 
that. So L is equal to 4000. The next one, F1. F1 equals, F1 is the frequency of the model pass. It is 18. Then F0. F0 is the previous, means preceding frequency. So it is 4. Now F2. F2 is the succeeding of the frequency. So 9. So next one is H. H is equal to difference. It is 1000. 4000 minus 3000, you will get 1000. 5000 minus 4000, you will get 1000. So everything. Here all things you have to check and it is equal to 1000. Now we have to apply it. So mode equals L plus. L means it is 4000 plus F1 minus F0. F1 is 18 minus 4 divided by F2, F1, 2 into 18 minus F0 is 4 minus F2 is 9 into H. Now what you have to do is, first you finish this inside the bracket. All the things you have to do. So it is 4000 plus inside the bracket, what are the things you will do? 18 minus 4, it is 14 divided by 2 into 18, it is 36 minus 4 minus 9 into 1000. Now equals 4000 plus. Now you have to complete this one first. So I told you which way you want to do that you can do. Either you have to take this fully. So here it is. 30, 14 divided by 36 minus 4. Here same sign it has. Add and put the same sign. So it is 4 plus 9. 13 into 1000. So it is 36 minus 13. You can answer 23. So equals 4000 plus 14 divided by 23. Only one number is there, one fraction is there. So into 1000. Now look, you cannot cancel. So both are not divisible by any other thing. So what you can do is just multiply. It is 4000 plus 14,000 divided by 23. 14,000 divided by 23. So 23 into 23, 20 into 5 is 1000. So 23 into 6 means it will be 138. Here it is 140. So it is 6. 138. Here it is to 2020. Now look, this remainder is 20 years smaller than the divisor. And you have taken this first number to here also after subtraction. You have to take down the first number to down. If it is less than the divisor means you have to put one zero on the top. And then you have to write this zero down. This is the way you have to do. Then again 23 into 9 means it will be 107. So 23 into 8 you have to find out. 184. So 184 here it is 8. 6116. You are nothing from the, nothing, no digit can be taken from the top. So what you have to do is put the decimal point and take the zero now. 160, 160 means it will be 23 into uh, 6 is 138, 23 into 7, 160 one you will get. So 6 it will be 138, so 2. 
again 220 220 means it will be 9 to come because 20 into 23 into 10 is 230 is lesser so 220 so 207 it is is 200 and 3 is 27 to 207 it is Nine. Now look two digits we got. Again it is three and one thirty. One thirty means it will be twenty-three into five. Now fifteen. Okay. So here it will be five. So six hundred and eight point six nine five we get. So we'll take it as 4,000 plus 608.695 Five is there. It will be 4,000 plus 608. Now look, here 5 is there. So you have to take one digit here. So it will be 10. So it will be 0 comes. You have to do one more add. So it will be 7 you will get. Or otherwise from here you can find out it is more than uh, 5. So it will be 7.7 you will get. Otherwise you have to take, you want to take 2 digits means it will be 6, 9 you have to take but here 5 is there. 5 or more than 5 means add plus 1. So plus 1 means it will be 10. So 0 will be there. 1 more again carry over that 1 plus 6 it will be 7. So 6 and point 8 is there. So when you add 4,000 plus 608.7, you will get 4,608.7 4, is the answer. So this is the, they ask you to find out the, about the runs, mode of runs. So this much the runs should be. So this is the way you have to do, your confusion will be coming here only. Just do the properly, you have to do the. Uh, calculations correctly uh, here you have to remember even you just only one digit only need to take from on the top only one digit from the dividend after subtracting only one digit only you have to take it down only that is the rule then after taking down one digit from the dividend you have to check whether it will be less means you have to put zero on the top when you are putting decimal point Decimal point comes when if you take all the given digits are finished and again it is less means put on the point, decimal point and then put zero there. Clear? This is the way you have to do. So this is the second answer. That's why I will keep the homeworks and then you have to submit correctly. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.